nothing like living a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey everybody, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today, I wanted to play with this. Yeah, I picked this thing up. The Manocaster Light Professional Audio Innovation. Look, I have used uh, ancient tech on my radio station for a very, very long time. And I'm happy with it. I'm not going to lie to you. I like it. But I am doing more podcast work lately. Um, and I'll get into that in a future video. But I decided I wanted to get something that was more capable of hooking up easily to modern computers. And I came across this, and what struck me as cool about this, and I'll show it more when I get it opened up, is that it has some programmable functions here that I thought might bring a new level of excitement to the Midnight Cafe and the other work that I do. So let's go ahead and open this thing up, and I'll show you what those features are. If I can open this thing up. There we go. And in a later video, I will probably show you all my setup. In fact, I might even set it up today, so we'll see. Here we go. All right, well, lots of manuals here. Portable live streaming and podcast consoles for computers and smartphones. Smartphone, really. So you can just use this thing straight hooked to a smartphone, I guess. Nice uh, color manual. Yeah, wow. Right to a smartphone. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the future is kind of weird, man. This is showing it hooking to multiple smartphones, computers, other phones. Ah, the future. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate smartphones? How much I hate phones in general? Well, if I haven't, I just did for you. Thank you. Very cool. CES Innovation Award. Huh. Pretty cool. Very nice stuff. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Set that aside for a second. Let's see what else is in here. Look like a decent, yeah, it's got it's a decent quality and uh, microphone. I've been using again an old Radio Shack mic for ages now, and that's kind of cool. And wow, does it come with some nice cables? All right, nice USB cables, mobile device adapter. Oh, so you can actually, wow, it's incredible. Another cable there so it definitely doesn't short you on that sort of stuff and there we go with that uh, to I mean that's it's nice okay and it's got it's a little crinkled up here but it's got a noise or, or wind and uh, breathing you know so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there there we go all right so let's check it out I'll tell you what I do know about it and uh, did some reading on this trying to decide which one I wanted to buy. There's a lot of different versions of this out there, but this one here just seemed to be a decent price and all the rest. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm still getting over a cold. All right, so we have a mixer board, right? We have our mic, volume, min, and max. We have our music, volume, min, and max. So far, a lot of this stuff you're going to see is similar to the old real, uh, realistic or Radio Shack stuff that I've used. Or if any of you use conventional mixing equipment, that's just probably it. We have our equalizer, low, mid, and high range, and then we have our record. So whatever record would be what's going out, right? So in this case, it'll be going out directly either to the internet uh, or to the stream or whatever. So that's kind of nice. Now, look, you can also use this on uh, for YouTube videos. If I wanted to do uh, professional live shows and wanted my sound to be a lot nicer or wanted to add extra features to a live show, this can be used for YouTube. It can be used for podcasting, pre-recording stuff, music, whatever. All right, so we have an echo, which is kind of cute. I uh, don't know that I would use that much other than for comedy, but uh, it's kind of cool that it has that. Monitor, that's when you're going to hook yourself up a set of earphones and you'll be able to hear with the overall what's going on here. And monitor is important because how do you know if your signal's too hot? You know, if you're, if you're just pegging the meter out, that can be a problem for you. And we have a lot of cool stuff here, and that's what I like here, and that is uh, we have pitch change, effect change. We have music only. So we're able to control what goes on here through through some of these buttons. And again, I have to read the manual on this. But here's what sold me. And this, uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Uh, applause, gunshot, laughter, cheering, slapping, awkward, booing. And then these four, you could put anything you want into them. They're programmable noise. So you have these sound effects. And I think that's really cool. It's something that uh, I kind of wish that I had had. If you listen to a lot of 
radio shows, especially morning shows, if there's still any left out there that are in your area, they do do a lot of this kind of stuff to kind of spice up the morning shows. And I get it. I like it. And so when I saw that this was available, specifically the fact that I can add four sound effects that I want to add, that's what really sold me on this. And so uh, that's what that's what got me hooked on this idea. On the back here, here's our power, USB-C, power on and off. We have backlighting for all this stuff, too. Uh, podcast output one, podcast output two, podcast output three, a regular output, music input, so that would be from an MP3 player, uh, could be a CD changer, whatever you want to use, a record player. There's your headset out, and then we also have the ability to add uh, extra microphones. So we have mic one, but if I want to have a second person there, and I do, I'll continue to use my other microphone. Now I can have a guest right there in the studio. So very, very cool. All right. Well, what good is a toy unless we play with it? So give me a few minutes here. I'm going to set this up in the studio. D. So I guess if I was going to be DJing a wedding or something, it might give some kind of special effect that I'm not aware of, but we'll go with that. Original. And original, back to original. So uh, here's the other thing that's really cool that I just figured out this thing does. Female. Well, if you're listening right now, I might sound a little more like a female. And so it actually has onboard processing capabilities for voice changing. So I could have a female MC a show every now and again. Male. And then, of course, I could change my voice and sound like maybe Art Bell or a little bit of Leonard Nimoy. Baby. And <laughs> if I really wanted to mess with people, I could pretend that someone got a hold of the radio station who wasn't supposed to. Robot. And then, of course, the AI could take over and we could have an issue with that. So there's a lot of fun you could have with this. Female. <laughs> and we're back to female. Pro. Pop MC original. There we go. So um, if we're just going to do that, that's pretty cool. Let's see what the next one denoise means. Noise canceling off. Okay. So you might hear now with the noise canceling off, a little more background noise. Wow. You can hear me uh, moving my fingers there. That's pretty cool. Noise canceling on. And the noise canceling back on. Oh, pretty good. Don't actually hear that. Pretty cool. Loop back. Loop back on. All right. Here we go. Loop back off. Loop back on. Hmm. I'll have to do some more research on that. I'm not actually sure what that does. Loop back off. <laughs> and then last one here is the side chain. I'm not sure what that is. I Again, I kind of just wanted to play with this thing. Side chain on. Hello. How's it going there? I don't know. What side chain means. off. There we go. So there it is. A major. A major. Dings and detestable D. Very cool. B flat major. Okay. So it does have some DJ capabilities as well. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me go ahead and switch back to regular audio. And there it is. Uh, pretty darn awesome. Now, not totally inexpensive, but also not totally useless. Compared to the Radio Shack switcher board that I've been using, that mixer board, this thing just goes way, way above and beyond. I mean, it's fairly clear that that's the case. I recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. I've certainly got a lot of learning curve to go on through here and do, but it'll be really interesting. And the next time I do a midnight cafe show or even a live stream, I'm going to plug this thing in line and we'll try some of these features out to see if people hear the audio better. One of the things I'm thinking of right off the bat is with the ability to change the uh, volume and the tone and everything, when people call in via Skype or, or Zoom or whatever way they're calling, uh, still, still regular old fashioned phone sometimes, I can now help bring that volume up, so that should help when we have guests on the show. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's called the <laughs> Mano, uh, Mano, whatever it is. Anyways, that, there it is. And I uh, picked it up on Amazon. I guess I'll leave a link to it uh, down there for you. But super cool, very cool. Anyway, I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.